Hey guys, welcome back to Exit 45, and I am back from my trip, dragging a little bit. I'm tired, yes. Uh, Seven, eight thousand miles will do that to you. Uh, but I want to get back on the Thunderbird, so uh, I'm not pushing too hard today, but uh, I do want to get some things done. So uh, I've been in there, you know, working on the uh, heater box, AC box. I got a new one, a new system. So let's go see what I've got figured out, all right? All right, so let's start here. This is the new system. So I'm going from just heat to heat and AC. So this whole new system is going to go in. Um, when it comes in the box, this piece here is not on there. It just You just see right here, you just slide that on here. I got four screws that will screw that in. Um, so I got that kind of figured out. Uh, as far as this goes, and you, you have some mounting points uh, here and right here uh, that we'll deal with here when we get uh, ready to slide that in. We've got we've got some uh, new hardware that came with it, and then of course our instructions. So really, I mean, I'm just trying to go through this and figure out since the car is completely, you know, tore apart. How far did I already get in the instructions because it's tore apart? So it looks like I pick up with the instructions somewhere in this area. We're gonna take in, we're not gonna use these uh, um, defroster tubes um, anymore. Those are going away. So this is about the point in the instructions where we remove the heater box. So then you get here and then the uh, fresh air um, opening that's up underneath the, uh, I'll show you. Um, they got a block off plate for that. You need to take off your your cover here where the, uh, the old fan was. You can see that right there. And then that has to be modified with some holes. Just, uh, you know, there you go. There's the holes you have to, there's a template apparently somewhere in here. Um, but I'll, Let's go on over here to the uh, Thunderbird. And of course, there you go, there's our plate, and it all goes right there. But up under here, there you go, you see that opening right there? So they got a plate to block that off as well. Um, not sure where I, what did I do with that? It's uh, it's here somewhere. <laughs> yeah, you know. Yeah, well, it's not much to see. It's just a circle plate, you know. It's uh, fits the opening there. I know I set it down somewhere so I wouldn't lose it. And what did I do? I lost it. Yeah. Well, either way, I need to find it though. Here's all the, because uh, this, you know, these uh, systems, the old systems were cable driven. They've replaced that with uh, servos, so it comes with a harness to hook up all your, your servos. You have new um, air ducting, uh, new vents, all of that. What I don't have is a block off plate for under there. <laughs> because I did such a good job putting it where I wouldn't lose it that I I can't find it you guys know what I'm talking about don't don't sit there and shake your head you know well I don't know oh uh, yeah there it is there it is uh, it's just got the four holes drilled in it that line up underneath there or I think actually it's got some tech screws and you just zip that up in there so that's that so that's pretty much where i'm at so I'm, I'm getting ready to secure this two pieces together uh put that up in there i think once i get to there then this is ready to go on so that's where we're at right now 
All right, well, let's, uh, let's get after that. Well, I came up underneath here to look at a couple of things and realized I need to tighten all this up before I go putting that in because I have no idea where that is going to sit in here. And I don't want to sit here and struggle to get all this tightened up. It's, it shouldn't be too difficult. It's most of the stuff I know, you know, I got a pretty good idea where it goes. I got some photos and all that, but all this goes to the uh, breakers. Um, all these up here, they go down to the breakers and get the fuses installed. Yeah, I mean, most all of this is goes to these all these breakers at the top of the fuse box. This here will go to the uh, dash harness right here. Um, yeah, most of this is pretty much set, but I just like to get it tightened up and finished. Because if I don't, then that's going to be a lot harder to do. So let's get that first. Then we'll start working on getting our plate up underneath here to block that off and then getting our box in here. Okay, guys, so getting ready to put the uh, breakers in there and I've got uh, the old ones all out cleaned them up a little bit yeah best you can but uh, I've tested them and they all tested good so that's good um, I do have some extras but they're not the right amperage um, now that I have my electrical book I know exactly what amperages these are because they're not on here anywhere I've I've looked these over and I have no idea so, um, I'm glad these all work, so we're good. So I'm going to go ahead and start getting these installed, getting the wires all hooked back up, and tidy up this corner uh, so we can press on. Well, there you go. After a few hours of playing around with this and looking at old video I took, This is the minute I got wire. <laughs> All right, so there you go. All right, so, I mean, combination of the wire diagram or wire assembly instructions um, book and old video that I took, uh, I was able to get it together. It really took a combination of both of them. The wire assembly book, uh, it's pretty generic, so you got different models with different options. So you have to you have to kind of bounce back and forth with some uh, pictures you may have taken, uh, or uh, those types of things. So you know if you haven't done this yet, lots of pictures, videos, uh, anything that you can do to go back and look at because your car is going to be different. It's not going to be exactly like those uh, the assembly manual or any of those uh, wire diagrams are because hey, every car's got different options. Uh, and I ran into that, so it took me a little longer than I would have liked, but I believe I got it. Uh, I got it correct, and that's, I, I believe, <laughs> we'll find out when I put power to it. But um, So we are done where I can now put the uh, heater box, AC box, whatever you want to call it now, because it's got both. But I can put them both, I can put that in there now. It's, uh, you know, it's all good. So we talked a little bit about this earlier, so i got to get that plate in. And then I can, I can get the box set in here because all my, all my wiring is now set. So, all right, that'll be the next thing. Here, uh, so I realized that I never did show you guys uh, what AC system that I went with. So I went with uh, Classic Air here, Classic Auto Air. Um, so... I have no idea on this yet. I have just scratched the surface on it. So, so far, the little bit that I've done, not so bad. But, uh, you know, there's a lot more to go. I got to, you know, get the brackets and see how they fit on the engine, all those things. So, um, there's a lot of parts here. There's some parts in here. Here's all the parts for the uh, bracketry and the compressor, uh, all the miscellaneous electrical and all that's in there. Uh, but as far as this video goes, uh, we're only going to be covering the uh, portion for under the dash. So I'm not going to be hooking up anything in the engine bay. I'm not going to be hooking up anything on the engine. All we're going to be doing is getting the box installed and getting things ready 
uh, for the um, dashboard. So in this particular case, the, the biggest thing that we're trying to do is, is finish building out the uh, firewall so I can get the dashboard in. Uh, and this is just one of those steps. So what I may do when I'm all done, I'm getting close to the end of this build and we're done with this system, I may chop all those pieces out and put them together as one video for anybody who's wants to search in YouTube to find how to install a classic auto air system. Uh, so that's something I may do, but it'll be a while. So anyways, just wanted to show you. All right, guys, let's see if we can get this in. All right. There's one. Huh. Well, those aren't lining up. Huh. Well, let's just see what we got going here. Well, I guess it just goes right there, huh? Just a block off plate. <laughs> All right, let's get this one in there. Okay, just for some reference, we're on the passenger side here, and swing up underneath, and there it is. So we're just blocking off that fresh air vent uh, that the old heater box went to. So, okay, so I think the next thing I gotta do is figure out, there should be a drain for the uh, case here, where all the condensation goes, so, Got to figure out where where that is. Uh, yeah, I have no idea. All right. Well, anyways, it's somewhere in here. I'll have to figure that out. So let me play around with that. But now that that block off plate's up in there, we are not far from being able to put the box in. All right. So right here, this cover that was on here. Uh, right here for your fan motor well that's no longer going to be where the fan is uh this is where your lines are going to start to come out for your heater and your um, ac and the kit comes with this template and i'll need to cut you know this is for your heater lines and for your ac lines so i need to get these holes put in this so that that's ready to go and and then i'm just about done prepping all these things but you know just one of them things it takes time so we got to get some holes drilled so we're ready for that all right so bring you guys in here for a minute i've run into my first problem working on getting the uh the heater box uh up installed into the firewall and the mounting points on this new one are not the same as the old one so there's only going to use this one point here that goes through the firewall instead of four so you have this one you have the original right here that goes up to this bracket here and then you have this one down in here that will go up to the dash once the dash is in uh problem i have is the distance between this mounting point and this mounting point, you know, the firewall, they're not the same. They're uh, on on the new uh, box, they're sh it's shorter distance from this one uh, to this one here. So I think what I'm gonna do is take this bracket here, just held on by a couple of screws, and I'm gonna bend this bracket this way a little bit to to get my distance 
and then I'll bend this piece back up so it's at the same plane it is now. And then that will get me my distance to, uh, to be able to use that, those holes. I don't want to drill a hole back here because then I'm getting into where that plate mounts on the other side. So I got to be careful there. Uh, so I think that's what I'm going to do. So let me get this off of here. I'll make a couple of bends. And uh, we'll see if it lines up then. But aftermarket, this is what you do. All right. There you go. You can see I've got the box in. It's loose installed. There's the one bolt that's holding it in there. And then I got it bolted here. This one here will go to the dash when that goes in. But I have a dilemma, as is always the case with these aftermarket projects. <clears throat> uh, I'm going to point down in here, but I'm not sure if you can see. Um, yeah, right there. You can see the little nub coming out. That's your water case drain. And uh, so I've got to drill a hole down in here for the, the drain line. And uh, so as you're going through the directions, it says to put this in, and then it says to drill your hole right where that's at, which that's fine, unless you've got this uh, uh, insulation in here with this industrial-grade rubber mat on it <laughs> that's super hard to cut, uh, much less try to get down in there. I, I can barely, I, you know, even get in there, much less with a, a razor knife. So I'm going to drill the hole while I can see where it lines up down here. And then I got to pull all this back out so I can cut the hole in the uh, firewall uh, insulation pad. And then I can put my drain tube on there and then slide the whole thing back in and, and bring that out the drain line. So there's always a, you know, there's always some kind of headache. This is mine. All right, let me get all that taken care of and then we'll get it back in there all right so we're back in and then I just get my there now I got both my heater hoses out and that was crunched in there but you can see I got my water drain line run through here and then I'll figure out you know how much I need whether that can just stay long or I want to cut it off I don't know but that hole lined up perfectly in there to that and so I'm taking credit for that <laughs> it was just a good guess but I'm still taking credit anyways we got all the holes everything's good I got we should have the kit comes I think with plugs for these holes that we're not using anymore and then I got to drill the holes in in that cover plate for these this is in I may try to work on some of the uh, electrical harness that comes with it and start maybe getting some of that set I think we're good guys Okay, so you can see here, what we got is the uh, uh, temperature selector and the fan selector. Uh, with the new AC kit that we got, this is coming off. We don't uh, need that anymore. They got new ones, so that's good. I've, uh, on the back here, with the light, I've already replaced that with an LED and tested it, tested good. The bigger problem I have is right here. It's... Uh, yellowed really bad and it's also dirty on the inside so i'm going to go ahead and take this uh black cover off here which is holding this on but the problem i have is you can see here they got these little studs um that they they flared to hold this on this one's already you can see is already broken off i'm going to drill them out and i'm going to put some pop rivets in there when I'm done, but that'll allow me to get this clean and hopefully the pop rivets will work in here. I, they should. I don't think that'll be a problem. Um, so, yeah, so I think that's where we're at. I'm, that's where I'm at on the instructions. So we needed to pull this off and then this is their system and we will get that installed. But before we do that, we need to make sure this thing's in good work and order. And that is what's on the menu right now. All right, let's do it. All right, let's see what we got here. OK. 
Okay. So it didn't quite, it didn't quite get it all. So I'm gonna have to step it up just one more. Uh, let's get this other one. All right, now well we got this out. So there we go. You can see it's pretty dirty in here. So I'm gonna work on getting that cleaned up so we can read it a little bit better. Just dirt. 40 years in the desert, it'll do it to you. Especially with the windows open. All right, I'm gonna get this cleaned up. Okay guys, so there you go. We got that all cleaned up. That looks really nice. And then I got most of the yellow off of this, but I stopped right where I was at because I just wanted to have a little bit of antique looking to it. Just a little yellow. So felt like that was enough. I can see what uh, everything says really nice, and yet it still has a little bit of that antique look to it. So you guys know I'm not going pristine with this. I'm trying to bring some of the old with it. And this is just some of the ways that I'm doing that. So just uh, leaving a little bit behind. So I like it. So now I got to figure out, uh, I got to get a little deburring on these areas I drilled. And once I get those cleaned up, we'll pop rivet this back on and we can press on. All right. Okay. So there we are. I'm about ready to pop rivet this thing back on, but it looks really good. Um, the only thing I did with this uh, plastic uh, uh, protection that goes over the uh, lettering and everything is I wet sanded it with some 2500. And uh, then I just gently hit it with a buffer and just buffed it out pretty good. But now I've got a nice visible one, but an antique looking one. So I like that. Didn't quite get all the yellow off, just like I wanted. All right, so I'm going to go get uh, three pop rivets in, and then we can work on changing out the uh, fan speed controller. Okay, so there's the final product. I got my pop rivets on, and they worked out perfectly, and uh, I really like the way that came out and looks. So I'm going to patent that. You guys can't use it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't know if it's lighting up because it, oh, yeah, it is. You can see everything turns green. Yep, sorry here. See how everything's turned green? There. Green. Black. There you go. Everything works. Everything looks really good now. Uh, I, I lubed up all these levers. They move really easy. So now we need to get the uh, this um, fan selector switch off of here and start hooking up the new one. Okay, so I got the new fan speed switch installed. The old one has been removed. Out with the old and in with the new. Old and new. Like a wedding thing, right? Something old, something new, something, something, something blue. I don't know. Okay, so if I understand this correctly, these will now go on to these here and we'll convert a mechanical signal to an electrical signal and turn this to more of an electric controlled instead of a manual controlled. So mode control and temp control so we got to make sure we get them on the right one and then you got a new 
chrome knob, I assume, for that. I don't really know what the knobs are for these. They're not in the bag, so I don't know what happened to them. Yay. Uh, I guess this is a keeper of some sort. I don't know for what. I'll find out, I'm sure. Okay, let me, uh, let me go through all this. And then I'll show you what I got when I'm, when I'm done. Well, there we go. So, we have successfully mounted our servos. Con well, these aren't the servos. These are the electrical input that will control the servos on the, uh, the uh, heater box. So, uh, you can just see here that these are just taking that mechanical leverage and turning it into an electrical input. Same here, we got... That was the same way it was. The other one just give you a new one. Okay, so I've got everything out that we're not going to be able to do any of this. Uh, all of this is your control system. So this is all going into from one side of the the firewall out into the engine bay, and a lot of uh, a lot of that is for that. So this is as built up about as far as I can get it. Um, I think uh, you know I can I can start on the getting this ducting cut in and installed. That'll be about the, the only place that I can really go with this. So this is as far as I can go with it. Uh, I think I did pretty good. We got the box, you know, in the harness, you know, all situated so we could get the box in, got the box in, and then we got the uh, control system set up. Uh, the rigging, this will all get electronically rigged um, with the, the uh, control module once it's all installed. So once we get to that point, we can we can go ahead and rig the system to make so that they know exactly what this means, what it means here, what it means here. <laughs> so that will all happen soon enough. Well, I think we're gonna wrap this one up here. Uh, I think we got a lot done, uh, you know, in the few days that I was able to get out here and work. So I think we got a really good head start on the AC system and we're really close to being ready to put that dash in. So my struggle right now is figuring out a way to get a windshield here so I can get it in, so I can get that dash in, tighten up, you know, the connections between the dash and the firewall and the AC, all the vents and all that stuff that's got to go in uh, so we can get this thing uh, moving along. So we're, we're, we're really at a point where it's going to explode. And I just want to I want to keep it going. Uh, appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you guys on the next one uh, next week. All right. Bye.